With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Maximize z is equals to minus x plus 2y subject to the constraints x is greater than equals to 3, x plus y is greater than equals to 5 and x plus 2y is greater than equals to 6 and y is greater than equals to 0 here. Right. So you are given here that z is here equals to minus x plus 2y and equations which you are given is x is greater than equals to 3, x plus y is greater than equals to 5 x plus 2y is greater than equals to 6 and y is greater than equals to 0 here. Right. So now first let us see for the equation x plus y is equals to 5 here. So in this case if I take x as 0 then y comes as 5 and if I and if I take y as 5 and a, then x will come as sorry if I take x as 5 then y will come here as 0. Okay. So let us plot this in a graph. So let us draw a graph here. Okay, so there it is a graph. Okay, so first point which we have to plot is 0, 5 here. So 0, 5 will come somewhat here. 0 on the x axis and 5 there, right? So this will be point, this point will be somewhat here. For suppose and 5, 0 will be somewhat here. So this line will go from this end to this end here. Right, the point five comma zero and the point zero comma five be here. Right now, if I put zero comma zero in this equation, uh, that x plus y is greater than equals to five, then it comes out to be false. So therefore, it will point away from the origin. Right, therefore, half place does not contain any origin here. Now let us see the another equation which is your x plus 2y is equals to 6 here. So now in this case if I take x as 0 then y comes here to be 3 and if I take y as 0 then x here comes as to be 6. Right. So now the points your 0 comma 3 and 3 uh, 0 comma 3 here and your uh, whatever 6 comma 0 will be here. Your point 6, 0 should be somewhat here. Right. And your point was 0, 3. 0, 3 should be somewhat here. Right. So let us join these points. So here. This. So here I am taking some points as approximate. So draw it in a graph and you will get the better view of this graph there. Okay. So now I took these two points. So here this point was your A that is 6 comma 0. Right. And this where these two lines intersect be the point B which is your 4 comma 1 here. So now the third point is X is greater than equals to 3. So this line will pass straight towards it through it. Suppose this is the point your X is equals to 3. So this will pass like this so this is the line for your x is equals to 3 here right so let this be a point c which is your 3 comma 2 here so this is the line for x is equals to 3 and this uh, line was for your x plus y is equals to 5 and this was for your x plus 2y is equals to 6 here so now what are the corner vertices or coordinates which you got here vertices and z here was given to you minus x plus 2y. So the point vertices was 6 comma 0, 4 comma 1 and 3 comma 2. So if I put 6 comma 0 here then it will become minus 6, 4 comma 1 will give you minus 2 and 1. So this here as you can see is the maximum point since the feasible region is unbounded so therefore z has no maximum value as this is unbounded right this is your x axis and this is your y axis so your z has no maximum value as the region is unbounded thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today